Welcome. We are back with some more battle spot double battles. We're using the Pikachu team again. And uh, the last episode went really quite nicely in terms of performance. But also, it was quite popular. We broke uh, 100 views within two days, which for a little tiny baby channel like mine is pretty good. So uh, I held out on, uh, on getting a second episode filmed because I wanted to let that, that video just kind of ride, see where it got to. Um, we got a couple more subscribers as well, so welcome if you are new. And uh, yeah, I, I guess what I'm saying is if you, if you like my content and you like my videos, um, don't watch it because <laughs> then I'll upload more. <laughs> Keep the view count low, guys. Um, okay, so yeah, we're back with the Pikachu team. And uh, let's see, let's see what happens. Live by the Pikachu, die by the Pikachu. Pikachu can get smashed so easily, um, but we'll see. It also does the smashing. Okay, we have an opponent. It's a, it's a trick room team with uh, Kyoga, Regieleki, and Urshifu for your non-trick room mons and uh, the Calyrex Shadow Rider. Uh, probably gone two and Indeedy. Okay, so. We don't really have a, tr a way to uh, consistently beat Trick Room. One of the ways I do attempt to do that is just go in with the Pikachu and <laughs> try to paralyze everything. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, we don't have a Trick Room counter, uh, unfortunately. Our Trick Room counter is to get in there with Pikachu, decimate, get some key paralysis, and hopefully get the win. So, uh, what, what do I want to lead alongside Pikachu, though? It's got to be, it's got to be Koga, right? So we, we threaten the big damage immediately. Tapu Koko to switch in. And it's got to be Disastion, right? Yeah, it's got to be Disastion. Rillaboom's really not bad here at all, outside of the Calyrex. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go Zashin. Okay, let's see, let's see what happens. We're going in with the Pikachu, turn one, probably, Dynamax in it, and just going from there. Couldn't max the Kyogre, we've got the Assault Vest, they're nice and bulky, but uh, it's gonna be a tough one for sure. I'm expecting P2 in DD, why not? That's Calyrex, Kyogre. Wow, not the lead I was expecting. That's a surprise. That's a huge surprise. Uh, yeah, this could, go, this could go a million different ways. Okay, well, we're going into this Calyrex because what does my opponent do? I think probably protect and maybe trick room. I don't see a problem with this play. Unless Koga maxes, um, which is always possible, but this is what, this is what we're gonna go with. We're seeing a max. What is it gonna be? There's a nice Cherish Ball. Um, I'm not sure what Pokemon that would be. Kyogre probably. There's, so there, there's just Max and Kyogre. Hmm, okay. So, we need, uh, I think we need some Paralysis Pikachu, if you could do that for us. I mean, if we can stop the trick from going up, that's gonna be massive. We've still got Tabu Coco in the back if we do lose Pikachu. Or Zashian as well. We know Pokemon that, that can still put out decent damage against Koga. So yeah, no, no protect from my uh, from my opponent. And at least we don't have to deal with the Calyrex. And not only that. I can't see my opponent attacking into the Kogs a lot. So we've got a powerful water spout coming out in subsequent turns. So the Geyser comes out. Unfortunately, 
think they're saying bye to Pikachu here. Yeah. That's Pikachu gone. But I had Pikachu to do one thing and one thing only, and it's it effectively done that one thing. We've removed the Calyrex. We've got Paralysis on my opponent's Dynamax Pokemon. And we're going to go from there. Now, the question becomes... Yeah, I think we just bring Tapu Koko here. It's got to be. That's, is that indeedy? That is the indeedy. So, overwriting our electric terrain immediately. But I'm, I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm not fine with it, but what else can, can we do? That, I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world. So, Psychic Seed, raising that special defense, that could be a little bit annoying. So I think what we're gonna do is, could go for the Electro Web, but I'm not going to. We're gonna go for the Thunder in Koga and force my opponent to, to redirect. And of course, we're gonna whack out the Water Spout again. So if they do redirect, I, I feel like we should knock them out, right? Uh, the, the combination of Thunder plus that Water Spout, even, even with the Special Defense boost on the Ndidi. So my opponent's taking their time. My opponent really taking their time. So yeah, okay, follow me. So we got a big thunder. It's not that big actually, is it? Get the paralysis. <laughs> and it still survives. It actually still survives. Look at that. And unfortunately no full paralysis on Kyogre. But uh, even though we are relying on it, you can't always rely on it. I'm surprised that the uh, Ndidi Survive both of, both uh, both those moves. So yeah, it's a bit of a rough spot now then. It's got to be protect. Yeah, we don't really have a choice there. Protect plus the water spout. What would be annoying is if indeed he goes for a protect. Nope, just never follow me. Good, 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 good. So, what happens from here? Apologies if you can hear that in the background. I don't know what what's going on outside. Unfortunately, my uh, my opponent does not get fully paralysed again. But this, this has turned out quite nice. And the Porygon 2 in the back. So, I think we win, right? I think we win. We, we double the Porygon for sure. We're not going to let that Trick Room go up. And... Yeah, I can't see my opponent. I don't think my opponent has a counterplay to this. Looking at how much damage the Water Spout's been doing against Max Kyogre. Ally Switch, that's one way you could, but nah. Your, your Koga is too low. Your Koga is too low at this point. There we go. I mean, I mean, there we don't go. We haven't won yet, but we've effectively won there. So, we've got another win with the team. Can you believe it? Porygon sticks around. Can you believe it? Uh, yeah. Pikachu helping to blow things up and then getting blown up immediately. But uh, we pulled it through. Or at least we will, when my opponent locks in their move, finally. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, again, we have no camp play to Trick Room, unfortunately, other than just go in with Pikachu and say, you know what, if you're on a Trick Room, here's an electric mouse, uh, 50 foot tall, fat, what are you going to do? <laughs> 
So first game down for this episode, let's do another one and see if we can get another win. Good game to my opponent. We have an opponent. It's, uh, this is an interesting one. This is a uh, Calyrex Ho-Ho, Calyrex Shadow Rider. Uh, Firewater Grass Core sticking out. I'll tell you what else sticks out though, that Lycan Rock. I figured them out. Their weakness policy ho with uh, Accelerock Lycan Rock. So I think that's going to be the lead that we see. Hmm. You know we're bringing Pikachu to this one. Pikachu looks good here. Pikachu looks really quite nice here. The problem is, Driftblim also looks pretty nice here, and I don't usually bring both of those Pokemon. I think I need to. I think I need to. I think I need to go with those two. And Koga. Yeah, I think so. So no Zashian. No Tapu Koko. I think that's the right play. Yeah, I, th I think that's what we're seeing. I think I'm 99.9% .9 sure that is Accelerock, which is mental, if that is the case, because that is a four times super effective hit into your ho -Oh. But what else could it be? It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird on this team. Um, not only that, You'd, you'd aqua jet, wouldn't you, if you, if, uh, if you could. Calyrex Rillaboom lead. Okay, so at least we don't have to lead. This is perfect, because Drifblim, <laughs> Drifblim gets, its, gets its unburdened boost. And uh, I don't have to switch Rillaboom in. That's quite nice, I can bake out. So, the only thing is, again, Pikachu is just sitting there and uh, can quite easily just get destroyed right now. If that's Focus Sash Calyrex, which it might not be, because they, uh, yeah, that, that um, Lycan Rock, that would quite like to have a Focus Sash. I don't know if I max Pikachu in this game. Uh, we'll go for the Fake Out. And we will go for, no, we won't, no, we won't. This is what we're gonna do. We are gonna max the Pikachu. We're going to do this, and we're going to do this. We're going to let our tailwind up. So usually in this situation, I'll just go for the Shadow Ball into Calyrex. But our Pikachu is threatened by the Rillaboom. And if that is Sash Calyrex, which is, of course, always an option, then going for that Shadow Ball is not, not going to help. Uh, the Astral Barrage will still, still knock us out, I believe. No, it actually might not. I think I trained Drift Blim to actually live it. But the problem would be if they chip it, which they do, then they'd knock it out or they'd chip it on the following turn. It's Choice Scarf. Oh no. Oh no. Double critical hit. But I don't think that mattered somehow. Guys, it's, it's happened. <laughs> It has happened. I, I don't think we're going to pull our way back from this one. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a devastating turn one. So, oh yeah, look at this. This is awful. Bring Koga in on Rillaboom. I mean, if you're, if you're my opponent, you just max the Calyrex at this point. We've got to. <laughs> I don't have a choice. Um, does Scald even knock out if they don't Dynamax? I mean, it's Choice Scarf, we know that now. Um, what else do I do? So they could Dynamax even Pokemon. They could. They, I, I think the optimal play is to Dynamax the Rillaboom, just smack Kyogre, and uh, just go for the Astral Barrage again. And it looks like that's what's going to happen. So yeah, we're faking out into that slot as well. We're getting destroyed. We are getting destroyed in two turns. So 
How much is this going to do? Uh, Koga should live, because we've got the uh, Assault Vest. Yeah, Relive Boom does not. GG. Uh, so, what have we learned? We've learned that Choice Scarf Calyrex just destroys us. Do, do I even have a counterplate to Choice Scarf Calyrex? Uh, no. Even because I've got Choice Scarf Tabu Coco, but Calyrex without speed. Um, I don't think I have a counterplay. So GG to my opponent. Well, well done. Not much else to say about that one other than I'm disappointed we didn't get to see the uh, if it was Accelerock into ho -Oh. Let's have another one. Let's have one more game because uh, it's a fairly short episode so far. Why not? Let's do one more. We have an opponent. This is a, this is a cool team. Yeah, this is a cool one. Eveltal Groudon. But they've got uh, Bronzong for Trick Room Mode. Nice. So, I mean, in terms of restricted, we've got the pair you want if you're going to go up against these two. Um, I don't like the looks of Venusaur here. Venusaur is annoying as usual. I do like the looks of Pikachu, though. Yeah, I really like the looks of Pikachu. The problem is... The problem is... What do I lead with Pikachu? I think Zacian, because I, I, I need to bring Rillaboom and Koga for this matchup. Yeah. If they lead the Veltal, I'm not sure what the calcs are. Uh, dark moves from Veltal into Pikachu would not surprise me if, if that's just a, a straight knockout if they Dynamax and we Dynamax as well. I don't think we can survive. But we need to bring Kyogre and Rillaboom here because if they lead that Kyogre, sorry, if they lead the Groudon, we've got two options. We can go for the Max Water with Pikachu or we can go for the Max Grass, both of which, of course, will be getting powered up. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we don't even Max Pikachu. Um, we will see. Bronzong Eveltal. I said we don't have Trick Room Counterplay. Nothing has changed from when I last said that. We still don't. So, we've got, a, we've got a double the Bronzong. Or do we? I could fake out. I could go for the fake out. Let's do it. Let's max Pikachu. Let's do it. We're going to Vault Crash and we are going to Sacred Sword. If Groudon switches on that slot, we are in all kinds of trouble. Okay, so it's probably switching on that slot then. Incineroar. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. So I wonder if we see a protect from the uh, from the Bronzong. So yeah, that was a, a little bit tentative there. My opponent obviously fearing... Well, I mean, we're, we're potentially hitting Eveltal with two super effective moves as far as my opponent knows. Of course, we don't have play rough on the Zacian, but they don't know that. So they choose to get Eveltal out of there, but they don't protect the Bronzong, and this is what we want gone. That's good damage. That was a crit, that's why. I wonder, I wonder if that would have mattered. Uh, it's, it's possible it would have. Okay, so we stopped the trick from going up. We have paralyzed the Incineroar. And it's got to be, it's got to be Eveltal Groudon, you'd imagine, in the back. Yeah, so there's Groudon. Nice. Nice. Okay, guys, what should we go for? <laughs> Is it going to be the, uh, the Max Water or the Max Grass? Of course, it's going to be the, uh, the Max Water. We want to get Kogarin. One million percent. 
Uh, let me think. Yeah, it's got to be into Kogan, right? Into the Groudon, sorry. It's got to be into the Groudon. So we're going to do that. We're going to... Yeah, this is this is 1 million percent the, the right play. We don't need to dead the Incineroar. Incineroar is not going to knock out Pikachu, but Groudon will. And depending on how this Groudon is trained, uh, this mm, probably won't knock out. Assuming they Dynamax. But you're going to see, hopefully, if it's not a speed tire, the power of Pikachu. There's, there is Groudon Dynamaxing. So yeah, I don't think this is going to knock out, but I'm expecting good things. So fake out from Insin. No big surprise. Okay, Max guys, here we go. Okay, well, it, was, it was a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a little bit underwhelming. I thought it would do more. I was sure it was going to do more. That's a really bulky Groudon, if uh, if I'm remembering my calves correctly. So Max Quake comes out. Where's it going though? It is into the Pikachu. Fair play. Fair play. Now we've got to be careful because we've got Rillaboom. I don't think we are, I'm pretty sure we don't outspeed um, Groudon here with Koga. Do I, no, I don't bring Zash in, no, definitely not. It's gotta be the Rillaboom. Because Rillaboom can't really touch your to anyway. We need to get the Zash in healthy. Get some passive healing on uh, Koga as well. I mean, we might outspeed it, you know, because that, that, that had some bulk on it. What is my Rillaboom speed? Let's have a look. One, two, one, one, four, okay. I could wood hammer. Um, we'll go for the grassy glide, I think. And we'll go for the origin pulse. Probably a bit risky. Maybe Scord's a better play into Incineroar. Yeah, we'll see Max Guard. Okay. Yeah, fair play. So I think they're going for the parting shot here, you would imagine. We do hit the Origin Pulse. Oh, it's not quite enough. Not quite enough. After that special defense boost. So yeah, Parting Shot comes out. Into Koga. Yeah, of course. And then they bring Incineroar back in. On which slot? They, they, it wouldn't surprise me if they switch out the Groudon for their final turn of, uh, on their final turn of Dynamax. Uh, that, won't, that wouldn't be a terrible play. So, do I think they do that though? I, I, I feel like they do. I feel like they do for sure. But they might not, but they might not. So, what we are going to do is, we'll get Zashin back in. We'll score that slot. I don't think they do. But that's what we're going to do. And if they if they read into it and they max quake our Rillaboom slot and take out our Zashian, then so be it. It's the, what can you do? That should be a good play. But yeah, a little bit tricky because we're switching Zashian in here. And of course, I want to be keeping uh, Zashian as healthy as possible. So I don't think they're switching because my Rillaboom is pretty slow. If 
foul play. That's going to do a chunk of damage. Yeah. Not ideal. So Groudon is faster, unfortunately. Where's that going? Into Kyogre. Yeah, really have to make some decisions here. Um, look at that, it just takes it like a champ at this point. So the Incineroar's come in. Or, or do they do they just protect Groud on this turn? I feel like they probably do, and they might switch the Evel tool out. Oh, this can go so many different ways right now. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a protect. And they might just oblivion wing the Koga slot, but we're gonna we're gonna get rid of Boomin. So they're not switching. I think they're protecting the uh, the Groudon. Nope, just a snarl. And then they're not even protecting it either. Wow. Okay. So we had an opportunity to get rid of the grout on there. Nice. Okay, how many turns left of rain? I feel like now they're going to protect the Groudon. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Okay, so one turn left. Here's what we're going to do. If they if they don't, I think they're going to protect it or switch it out. Surely. Oh no, they're switching Incineroar. No, on the on the Yveltal slot. That's not good. Okay, I think we're going to see a protect though. I think we will. We don't, we don't even see a protect. Oh no. My opponent, we, we're just falling into all of these traps. We're falling massively into all these traps. So I could have gone, could have gone for the grassy glide, which is what we should have done. I think that was a bad play by me. That was a bad, bad play. That loses us the game. Unfortunately, my opponent played it well though. I mean, what else is there to say? And we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose the rain as well. Uh, I'm just gonna end the end of the turn. Yeah, my opponent played it well. Um, they were banking on us. They knew that we knew that they could protect that ground on. And uh, so they didn't, they didn't both times. Well played. Of course, it's not over yet, but it's probably over. And I think this is the turn. I think this is the turn they protect Groudon, and for that reason, I still don't think they're going to protect Groudon uh, on, on this following turn. How many turns? This is the last turn of grassy terrain as well. So, I mean, they should really, surely, right? We're going to go for this. So yeah, we do see the protect. We do see the protect. So, I mean, if we're going to get away back, this is what we need, right? We need a freeze. And a crit would be nice too. That's an assault vest, 1 million percent. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, grassy terrain is running out as well. This is this was uh, not not well played by me in the end game, from the mid to end game, I should say. Yeah, just been just been outplayed there. Um, not great in the mid to end games. Pretty pretty, uh, pretty bad plays by me, I think, uh, in hindsight. 
Although I think that the big problem was going for the attack into the ground on at the beginning with Pikachu. Should not probably shouldn't have gone for the max max surf. Um, I think maybe I'm misremembering my calcs a little bit. Probably what we should have done there was go for the uh, Volt Crash into Incineroar, get the Paralysis on Groudon then, to make it slower than, than our Kyogre. And then, because then we pressure, pressure it with the Kyogre, right? That was part of the problem that we had, they were outspeeding us. But again, really well played to my opponent. They just made the plays, it goes that way sometimes. And there you go, GG to my opponent. What else can you say? So there we have it guys, live by the Pikachu, die by the Pikachu, very much so. Um, got some more teams in the works, some, uh, some, some quite interesting ideas. Ha been on a bit of a, uh, had a bit of inspiration lately, getting back into team building and yeah, got some cool things on the horizon. I might bring Pikachu back for some future episodes at some point, but we'll see. But thanks for watching. Welcome to the channel if you are new. Uh, I appreciate you guys subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing to help out my, uh, my aforementioned little baby channel that I've got going on here with my 50 odd subscribers. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope to catch you in the next one.